Alright guys, today we're outside of Tacos Tierra Caliente and we're on the hunt for the best tacos in Houston. Let's go in. guys before we start there's gonna be a few different things that we're gonna look for when we're tasting these tacos number one is gonna be texture and flavor number two is gonna be quality of ingredients I don't want to see any dried up onions or cilantro as I'm making my tacos all right number three is gonna be variety this includes menu items variety of meat and type of tortilla because if you only have corn tortilla although it is traditional you're missing half of your demographic that only likes flour tortillas. So number four is gonna be cleanliness and service. Nobody wants to eat out of a dumpster. Is that right? <laughs> number five is gonna be value. Everybody wants a cheap taco, but nobody wants a cheap tasting taco. So my only auto fail for these tacos is this. Canned salsa. Canned salsa is the scourge of the restaurant industry. Canned salsa might be what killed Bigfoot. Canned salsa is why we haven't been back to the moon. Canned salsa is what killed the dinosaurs. Canned salsa is why Khabib jumped the fence. So as you can tell, the majority of what they sell is tacos. They're a taco truck, so I wouldn't assume that they have a lot of room for anything else. So aside from quesadillas and tortas, they have fajita tacos, they have barbacoa tacos, a few pork tacos, pollo, and chicharron. I noticed on the sliding glass door next to the menu that they might have some breakfast options as well. Like I said before, I'm not your dad, you can get whatever you want, but for the sake of the video, I'll stick to beef, pork, and chicken. As you can see from the bag, I got three tacos for about $7.50. Aside from two bottles of red and green salsa, there was no actual topping station around. But I did find out later that they already topped the tacos with cilantro. So let's go ahead and dig in here. The first tacos I tried were the pork tacos. Now usually I'm a huge fan of pork tacos. But these weren't really doing it for me. There was no flavor, the meat tasted kind of generic, even with the cilantro and onions, I, I really didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't enjoy these pork tacos. The tacos, for the price, were about what I'd expect. They're not big by any means, they're small and bite-sized. So other than this electrical box, or whatever it is I'm eating on, there was no real place to eat. So I know it's a taco truck and it's grab and go, but it would have been nice to like have a chair to sit down on. I know there's picnic benches across the street, but they were selling their own tacos over there at the Ice House. So I can't say that that was part of this taco truck. Would have been nice, but whatever. This electrical box worked just fine. This barbacoa taco was delicious. The texture was perfect, the meat was tender, and everything just worked out. Everything, there's no complaints about this barbacoa taco. It was delicious. I really didn't go for any of the salsa. My buddy had told me that he really didn't like the red one. It was more overpowering. It really overpowered the taste more than anything. And I wanted to get a clear review for everybody. I, I just think that if I would have had some of the salsa, it would have skewed everything. Last, but certainly not least, we have the chicken taco. Now the chicken tacos I never really have high hopes for because they're always just dry, there's never any flavor, and it's just not my favorite taco. But I know some people swear up and down that they have the best chicken tacos and whatever. So all in all, they were small tacos, cheap meat, good service at a great price. Would I come out of my way to get these tacos again? Probably not, but if I'm in the area, sure, why not? All right, so guys, I forgot to comment on the service. The service was phenomenal. These three ladies working the taco truck were super friendly, got my tacos cooked and out to me in no time at all. All right, so we're still on the hunt for the best tacos in Houston. So if you got a spot, remember, put it down in the comments and I'll go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully subscribing. 
<laughs> and I hope you enjoyed my video and um, I'll have another one out for you hopefully next week. Um, but if you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, uh, that'd be perfect. Thank you very much. We'll see you again soon.